are talking about the movie Queen of Spades, The Dark Right. Or at least that's the English translation. This is actually a Russian film, the name of which I'm not even going to pretend tend to uh, pronounce here because it would just be embarrassing. It's actually a 2015 movie. It being released in the UK in uh, April of uh, 2018 and is a slickly produced uh, spooky ghost story. So um, let's give you a little bit of a brief, uh, brief plot synopsis here. So it essentially focuses on these kind of like these four kids and just for shits and giggles they decide that they're going to kind of recite this passage in front of a mirror that is this kind of urban legend of this uh, this spirit, the Queen of Spades. And of course, the actual spirit is, of course, real and then haunts these four kids, wanting to pluck them out of their lives one by one. And we add to this this kind of like a family of one of the girls kind of desperately trying to save her from this curse that she's kind of inflicted upon herself. So that's your kind of your basic kind of plot synopsis there. Not a terribly original plot, if we're completely honest. You've seen this type of kind of horror film a number of times before, but it's all about the execution. The execution here is very good. But let's get any negatives out of the way, first of all. First of all, like I've said, it's not particularly original plot, so don't be expecting anything too new here. It more or less does go down the same kind of like path that you've seen a good few number of these kind of movies, and, uh, and nothing's going to really jump at you if you have any kind of surprises. The other thing, thing I thought was a little weird of this film is... Um, and this may be a cultural thing. It's such a, such a cold open. It really starts with these kids without any kind of characterization straight away. And uh, they just start the kind of the ritual. They're, that's it. That's the first kind of shot you'll see in the movie. No kind of getting to know these kind of characters, first of all. They start the kind of ritual straight away. So that to me felt a little bit jarring. Uh, so, so I'm watching this from the UK. Obviously, we we kind of used to kind of watching films and having a little bit of kind of characterization building first of all. But no, this one, the first shot of this film is these guys doing this ritual, and they're therefore. And I feel it maybe benefited from could have benefited from a little bit of kind of like um, you know character work at the beginning because it does slow down in portions throughout this movie, and it, it ends up becoming a little slow in places where I think if it has been jiggled around a little bit. It maybe would have kind of seemed like a somewhat a smoother ride and having this kind of supernatural stuff, maybe a little bit more peppered throughout the movie. I also got to say on a really a nitpicky level here, the timeline seems a bit wonky. We have a death of a character and this kind of father gets uh, uh, called to the house and they're having the, they're having the funeral the next day. And I thought, how is that possible? So there's kind of little, little things here and there. And um, although I thought the acting was quite good, no one seems particularly stressed out about this, the fact that there's this kind of ghost and kind of like haunting them. They all seem relatively calm and kind of accepting of the fact, which was a little bit of a weird, I think there's more of a directorial choice here, but yeah, just a kind of a, a few odd choices. I think it's the only other thing to mention. We do see our kind of spirit. It reminds me of the, uh, the effects of Mama, that kind of uh, ghost story, if you've seen that. So it is just kind of a CGI effect. It's, a lot of the time it's in the darkness, so I don't think it stands out too much. But when we do kind of see it, it looks a little bit CGI. But if you've seen the film Mama, you'll kind of know what I'm talking about. But what does work? Let's get on with the good stuff. So, I got, like I said, this is a really kind of like slickly produced film. And it has a very unique feel to it. Being set in Russia, and we see these kind of these cityscapes of... Uh, these very kind of like barren and kind of like um, Eastern Bloc kind of uh, towns and high rises and stuff like that. And that place looks scary. This is probably just every day to the people who live in this kind of part of the world. But it just looks like a haunting place without having kind of like gothic manners and stuff like that. And it's all got this kind of snowy waist and it's something you'd, you know, you'd kind of think, man, this kind of looks like it's been after some kind of nuclear attack. But it just, no, it's, it's just... These weird kind of um, very kind of desolate looking place that adds this kind of like this cold, eerie atmosphere. So that was all quite good. And I've got to say, despite some of the misgivings I have with maybe the some of the character choices here, I actually thought the acting was for the most part pretty good. Now it's I always find it quite difficult to judge acting um, when when I'm kind of watching it on it with subtitles because it's kind of hard to. Uh, obviously see what the um, you know how the, the words are 
uh, kind of fit the emotion, so to speak. But to me, I thought the acting looked pretty good, even from our kind of younger actors here, who I feel did a good job of uh, of really kind of portraying these kind of like these kids, especially our kind of our main kid, who's the daughter of this kind of uh, uh, this kind of family that tries to protect her and everything. So that was all quite good. And I've got to say. There are some terrifying scenes in this movie. It does a really good job of kind of making the kind of the darkness work for it and having these kind of um, these just horrifying, it, creepy images kind of like build up and build up and then bam, it will get you with a kind of a scare. I thought it was quite good. Very well handled. And there's not too many kind of like fake jump scares here. So I feel like when, when they do do a jump scare, it's kind of earned. So that was quite good, and I quite liked the the brutalness of this kind of this this ghost. I mean, this ghost does not mess around. It is out for a mission, um, so it's not just kind of like moving cups around and stuff like that. No, it's got a mission, and it's gonna it's going full ball with it. So that was quite good. And there's some kind of neat little things that they do in regards to trying to uh, you know uh, warn themselves if it's kind of the spirits coming and stuff like that. So that was all quite fun. And it does have a quite a good production value to it. It doesn't feel like it's kind of like a low budget kind of like minimalistic film. It feels like they've actually spent a good amount of money and time on this kind of movie. I'm not saying it's like some blockbuster type thing, but a lot of the Russian films I've seen do tend to be very kind of lavish. You know, it definitely has a, a lavish, but very kind of frightening and oppressive feel to it. So that all quite and I quite like the actual design of the kind of the creature, the the kind of the ghost, and it's kind of like modus operandi. I thought was all quite fun. Overall, I've got to say I enjoyed this movie. I thought it did its job and kind of scares you in the right places and makes you feel, you know, feel uh, uh, emotions for the characters when it's supposed to. So it does it does its job well. I feel. So overall, I'll give this an above average mark. I'll give it a six out of ten. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.